number one. Even though it's been a year, they're still pretty light. I thought by now they would have been a lot more solid, hanging low, all that jazz, but really, it's still pretty light. From far away, people think that I have a twist out still because they look fuzzy and they look really light, but when you get closer, they're pretty solid. And people are kind of shocked about how hard they are. They always say, oh my God, that's really hard. <laughs> that's what she said. Sorry, sorry. Number two, when my hair is really dry, they, the locks at my temples move. Like when I'm eating or I'm talking, they, they move on their own and it's kind of weird. Let's see if I can make it happen. See, see, <laughs> it's weird. Maybe my face is the weirdest part of this whole thing. Number three, this has happened so much can't explain it. All my life, I've gotten identified as, you look like my friend, you look like my niece, you look like somebody I know. I've gotten that all my life. But now, more than ever, I don't know if it's the locks or something, but literally, so many people who meet me for the first time think that I look like somebody. They say, what's your name? I feel like I've seen you somewhere before or you look just like my friend so-and-so, or you look like my niece, you look like my daughter, you look like my baby mama, you look like somebody I know. And it's, and I just kind of agree like, oh really, oh that's, that's cool, all right. But I just start to wonder, do I really look like so many people? Let me know in the comments below if I remind you of anybody, but I don't know what it is, but lately I've been getting it all the time. I don't really know what to say, because. <laughs> I guess I have a familiar face, but ever since I've gotten these, I get asked that, or I get told that so many times. The first thing they say is, oh my God, you look like someone I know, or you look like this person. And I'm like, okay. Even actually in the comments, someone who commented on a video said, I look like their mom. Number four. Now that the locks that I originally started with have become a lot more mature, I believe it's time for the new growth to start forming a lock on its own. When I went to a loctician, she sectioned my hair and twisted it, and so it already started the lock formation. But now that it's been a year and the locks have become their own and I have new growth, it's gonna be time for that new growth to start locking on its own, and it's still pretty loose and fuzzy at the roots but now the roots are going to become the lock and it's growing up into the lock and i think i'm at that stage where now that this part has matured in order for the locks to grow the new growth has to lock so now i feel like for the second year it's the new growth's turn on its own because i will not be going back to a loctician I'm interested to see how the new growth will form its own lock and how it will look. Let me know in the comments below what it was like during your second year or when, if you semi-freeform or freeform, what it was like when your new growth came in and how long it took for it to become mature. Let me know in the comments below. And number five, like I always say, I know for some people, locks are just a hairstyle, for some it's a lifestyle. For me, these locks represent who I am. I started out a year ago and this whole year has been full of challenges and experiences and being on my own and finding out who I am and really concentrating on bettering myself. So, so it really represents who I'm becoming, the woman I want to become. It fits me more than any other hairstyle I've ever had. I've tried all the hairstyles and out of all of them i feel like this represents me it feels like me i feel comfortable in my own skin i absolutely love it i love the vibes that it brings i love the commitment that it represents i love how my hair loves it it flourishes it grows it it just i feel like it's who i was supposed to be i know for some people you know since it is just a hairstyle they can see themselves cutting it which is 
completely understandable, but for me, I truly plan on keeping these for as long as I can. I would love to one day have salt and pepper locks. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, I want to see how long they can get because they're I started growing them at a very vulnerable part of my life. <laughs> it really, they really mean a lot to me and um, I'm not Rasta or anything, but I don't want to cut them. I don't plan on cutting them. You know, God willing, they keep growing and I just feel like they represent me and it fits me and I couldn't be happier with them. All right guys, so that was my five lock observation video number three. Let me know in the comments below some observations you guys notice with your own locks. What year are you at? One year, two year, three year? Anything specific you want to talk about or bring up? Any advice? And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.